Hi, Kristen here. I help busy single moms and entrepreneurs remove blocks to achieve financial success fast so they can enjoy a rich life full of joy, peace, and abundance. Now, if you've been with me for a while, you know I share all kinds of tips and tricks and training on things that I've researched, tried myself, or whatever to give you all the tools to inspire you to take some sort of action and improve your financial position. And today is no exception. Today is actually part one of a six part training series to go after your money sabotaging mindset. Yes, how do you know if you have one and what can you do to fix it? Stay tuned. All right, before we get started, as always, I wanna do a centering exercise to get us ready and open to receive the information and start taking action on the things that you learn with me. All right, so go ahead and close your eyes. If you're driving, don't close your eyes. Close your eyes, take a deep breath in, exhale out, inhale in, exhale out. I want you to feel and see some gossamer light coming down, kind of in a, almost like a tube of light just coming down to your head and just washing over your face, relaxing your eyes and your cheeks and your chin, going through your throat, relaxing all these muscles around in your neck, down through your shoulders and your shoulder blades, out through your arms and fingertips. Feel that wave of relaxation go through your body and your chest, your torso, down through your hips, all the way through your quads and hamstrings, down through the legs, through your feet. Make sure your feet are firmly planted on the floor. Get comfortable, get your sit bones into the chair you're in. Make sure your hands are nice and relaxed on your lap. Take another deep breath in and out and know you're exactly where you need to be. You have nowhere else to go, nothing else to do, but to listen and take in some new information to help you on your journey. Take a deep breath in and know that your heart is opening and softening and being open to new ideas and that you may take this information and transform it to use something for your greater good. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Feel that relaxation, maybe a little bit of a smile, knowing you are taking steps to improve your life for you and your family. And when you are ready, start wiggling your toes, wiggling your fingers, shrugging your shoulders, slowly open your eyes. And we're gonna get back to today's lesson, which is all about identifying your money sabotaging mindset. So here's the deal. Most of us focus on, I need to create more money. I need more money, right? That's what we're saying to ourselves. So we go about it, we start researching, you know, which I'm very good at, so I'm, I'm guilty of all of this. You start researching, you start putting your little plan into action, but you look at your track record and you're like, like nothing is, manif like nothing's working. Like you, you could have the best laid out plan in the world, but if there's something going on in your unconscious mind that is a belief or behavior or thought, that is contrary to what your plan is that you put out, you're not gonna achieve your goals. It's just, it's as simple as that. And so if you're a little like, what does she mean, unconscious mind? And does that mean I'm like, no. Um, you're not unconscious, it's your unconscious mind. So I have another blog on the conscious and unconscious mind. I think it's blog 13, but I'll, I'll put it in my, in the actual notes in the in this to get it straight but that will actually go through like what the difference is and how they all interact with one another if you have something buried deep in your unconscious mind that's like you know what you are going to live a life of poverty and not success in the financial world that's what you're going to see in your life i've had clients say like oh wow i don't know if i have these sabotaging beliefs like how do i know well take a look at your life if your life you're not achieving 
your desired prosperity in your life, then chances are there's some sort of block going on or multiple blocks. If you're not achieving, you know, like the love you want in your life or the um, general peace that you want in your life, there are some kind of unconscious blocks buried deep in there that need to be released or removed. So that's why I'm here. We're gonna go over that kind of stuff today. So the way you go after these unconscious blocks is you have to ask your unconscious mind specific questions. And the first thing that pops up as the answer is your unconscious mind talking to you. So just like when you're taking a test and your teacher said, you know, go with your first answer, go with your gut, go whatever, whatever that is. When you're doing these questions, it's the first thing that pops into your mind and you're going to write it down. So I have a download that's gonna go with this lesson that you need to download. It actually gives you the specific questions to write out. So there is so much power in the physical act of writing. You need to write out all your answers and then you need to say it out loud what these um, blocks and beliefs are. You gotta acknowledge this stuff. So make sure you're also saying it out loud as you go through it. And really that's it for this first part of the six part series. We need to identify what those blocks and beliefs are. So get that download, go through it. That's gonna be at www.kristen-ann.com forward slash zero eight for the download. Once you go through it, you, you need to understand that your beliefs become your reality. So again, if you have these unconscious beliefs, you're thinking all these things, just look around, you know? Um, let's just say, let me give you a quick example. I mean, you're, you've got a very chaotic life. Let's pretend you have a chaotic life. Just look at your house. Look at what's happening at your house. Is your house cluttered? And I mean, that's just a quick example. I always know when things are chaotic at my house and I start to look around, I'm like, everything's reflecting that in my life. Like my car is never messy, but there are times all of a sudden there's lots of crap I've just left in my car. And that just reflects all the little chaos that I'm churning in my life. I do my own little tips and tricks to get me back on track, but just your thoughts become your reality. So we wanna change some of those beliefs that are deep in there so you have new ones and we're gonna replace them. And that's what we're gonna do through this six part, six part series. So uh, I look forward to teaching you all these money manifesting techniques and removing these sabotaging beliefs and, in, and inserting new, more empowering ones. And that's what we're gonna do in this series. If you think someone could benefit from this training, please share it. I think the more people that are aware of these type of things, the better. And if there is a, a money sabotaging belief that you've come up with during this exercise, please share it in the comment section below. We'd love to hear that we all grow from everyone's experiences or people may be able to identify it. So please share with that. Again, I love you guys. And remember to always lead with gratitude. Have a great week. Bye.